Welcome back. We're getting ready for our next matchup here. We are doing Space Wolf versus Astra Militarum. So let's see what units we are able to get. Alright, definitely want a Land Raider. Whirlwind would be great against the infantry, as will Venerable Dreadnoughts. Regular Dreadnoughts against tanks, Predators. I guess we're just going crazy with our units here. Dragon Gaze. How are you going to do, I wonder? Probably pretty good. I really think I'm going to want land speeders for sure. He's also pretty good as well. I do like him. Skyclaws could be really good against taking out infantry as well. Really getting in there close. So... Do I really need four Dreadnoughts? Probably not. Given that we know this guy likes using infantry forces. And Dreadnoughts are going to suck against infantry. Because for whatever reason, the way it's set up is it'll only kill one unit per attack. So that would be like two Imperial Guard units. So that wouldn't be very good. So definitely two Land Speeders would be a much better choice there these heavy bolters would probably be really damaging as well and thunder wolves would be a good option too assuming they didn't get blown up we don't have like a 100 guy so we have 200 which would be meta guns or a rhino transport but then again without having much for infantry. I kind of hate to do that. Venerable Dreadnoughts will do a lot of damage, but we're going to have to be exceptionally careful to make sure they don't get flanked because that could be catastrophic. Now, if he ends up going with a lot of Sentinels, the Dreadnoughts should be able to take them out pretty easily. The Predators will definitely be able to do some damage. Really, missile launchers could be quite good as well, taking out those infantry. Boy, I don't know if I want to go. If I did that, then I could do these two. And I guess I have you. You have Rally, though, right? Or do you not? You don't. And we could do something like that. Missile launchers, land speeders, predators. Dreadnoughts, Venerable Dreadnought, Whirlwind, Land Raider. Now the thing is, we know they're going to have a Titan. Just because we have a Land Raider. So therefore, should we just make sure we have at least one Skyclaw? We can at least run them in to sacrifice them to turn around the to turn around the uh, Titan. I see that only give us eighty. I'd really like to have him more than him. I'm going to be twenty short. I'm just not sure if we're going to be able to get in close enough with our venerable dreadnoughts to turn around a titan without them getting utterly destroyed. 
by an infantry swarm. And therefore, the sky claws could be very helpful. Plus, they have the crack grenades. And we can get them thrown in with infantry and attacking them pretty closely. I think that makes sense because we know they have to. We have to fight a titan. The titan with that shield and everything—that's going to be terrible. I would really like to have these missile launchers, though, because you know the sky claws are going to be great for taking out the titan. But then I think they're going to quickly get just on apart whereas those missile launchers they're just gonna be great for taking out any of those infantry and they're gonna break morale and well but the again the titans are just the titans too dangerous if we can take out the titan then i mean we can use our land raider whirlwinds Predators, you know, we have multiple sources. All right, let's do this. I might regret it, but we'll see how it works. Okay, I just deployed the forces here. So these are my thoughts. Is yes, we can try to hold up in here, over in here, and then maybe up in here as well uh, to try to protect ourselves, so I'm kind of bunching our guys together. We know they're going to probably have a basilisk, but we don't have a lot of infantry to worry about. We'll try to do some hit and runs with our land speeders. Maybe I'll actually put him over here. Uh, we have, you know, somebody for close combat in each area to try to help out. I suspect he's going to try to engage me in an open area here. I'm going to try to get, you know, a victory point I'll have to hold. And maybe I can swing around. It'll be interested to see where this Titan is. I suspect he's going to have some forces over here, though. Because he's going to want to stay in some cover, I'd imagine. So we'll see how this goes. All right, let's let this first turn get done. Now, our plan was to run up and try to secure some locations here. Put you behind some cover, put you next to him. And this is the Astro Militarum one, right? Yeah. Try to get you up. Move you over. Put you over here. Move you up. you up there. I'm just banking on him having units over there, so. Hmm, maybe something like that instead. Can't see anything. Put you back here. Move you up to there. Now, where's a better place for my whirlwind? Put you over here. Do something like that. Just 
kind of scouting around a little bit. Why not? Might as well. Alright, now the question is, is do I need to blow apart any of these things that are in my way? Or do I want to? May not be bad to take out these things. So at least then they can maybe get some shots off. Well, in cover. We want to try to control as much as we can. <laughs> so we can try to have little hiding places. So maybe I'll take this out. And somebody could take cover behind there and shoot. I'm not going to move up any farther than this, I can't imagine. So I might as well take out some of these cover locations here. All right, let's take a look and see what happens here. All right, we know he's up there. There are lots of things moving. Can't tell if those are going to be probably chimeras. Oh, some bestest ions moving around. the hell was that? Activate emergency power. Oh, I bet that was the hero guy, baby. Maybe? Damn, that really sucks. Almost as much as that did.
Dude, you said that was safe. That doesn't make any sense to me. Doesn't make any sense at all. All right, well, we're down to Skyclaw already. That's not great. All right, I can't see anything over there. Oh, and of course I went one too far. I can't get him back into cover now. Yeah, let's do something like that, I guess. He's got smoke pop there. Guess we can move you up here. That was not good. Not good at all. Yeah, this is... Guess we'll just wait again, another turn. Bad first turn. Or I guess third turn is what it would be now, but we also know he's got something up here because he's taking those guys out. Maybe maybe back. Something like that. Not good. Well, I guess we'll just pull you back and make sure he doesn't do any more of those group hits. Yeah, makes me wonder, now that I know they have him here, maybe I should move the rest of you guys back a little bit too, so you're not all blocked together. They very well could just use that uh, aerial attack and kill both of these next turn. I still don't understand why it showed you as being able to come up here attack without getting shot with reaction fire, but then he did. I don't know. This game's been acting weird lately. It's not showing you when your attacks are all used up. It, they've been having some weird thing with their server going on too, so I don't know. We'll uh, see what happens, I guess. So we know he's got smoke here, so he probably has the chimera there so he can run him down into close quarters. Maybe I'll pull you guys back just to be safe. Maybe what I'll do is pull you back here. And put you out here, something like that. Move 
you back. I need to turn around though. And I guess I'm gonna. Fortunately, that means I'm probably gonna have to move you over. So they don't take out my long things. All right, let's see what happens here. All right, Chimera's on the move. Ouch. Holy shit. I can't believe that it just happened. Is happening. Grenade launcher, grenade launcher, power sword. Try to take this guy out. Dude, I need you to do some more damage. Switching to auxiliary systems. I well, only have one health left, so I guess it really doesn't matter. Take him out.
All right, so you're hidden in the smoke, as are you. We can just bring you over here to help take out those plasma guns. I still can't believe I lost that rant, Land Raider. That is so catastrophic, it's not even funny. Damn it. I would have pushed him over here. I might have been able to grenade them too. Now all I did is effectively push them into being being able to shoot my venerable dreadnought, which sucks. <laughs> That's terrible. I don't want to necessarily turn him because, well, I guess I should, because we know for sure he's going to get nailed by these guys. I mean, that's the only reasonable move he I forced him into. Whereas at least if I would have kept him here, he would have at least been in cover. I guess the other option would be is if I pop smoke here. That'll protect the venerable dreadnought. I don't know if you'll still lock them into combat. Hopefully they will. I can't believe, I just can't believe I lost my land raider. Ugh. I just don't, he tried to shoot this and it turned him for some reason. Ugh. Terrible. Absolutely. All right, let's see what happens here. This is, uh, Definitely not a great game in terms of classiness. There's that stupid vanquisher. Who's he attacking? Taking out the area there. Nope, there's the Titan. I was thinking he was farther over.
do something like that, I guess. Side. Try to take this guy out. Damn. Take this guy out. Turn you this way. I should have kept him back one. Move you up. Oh. Can you attack him? Damn. Damn, 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 damn. I should have moved you here so you could have attacked these guys instead. I wasted one of your attacks like a fool. Well, I'm just not using my whirlwind worth of crap. I need to get these guys over there too. At least you're able to hide in here. You're hiding in there. You over here. So you're at least hiding in there. Smoke as well. Didn't really do much for damage.
take that out in case I need to take the victory point. I just can't figure out how to position this whirlwind because he's fled his horses. It's like right in the middle. He hasn't been able to do a jack shit yet. Uh, not good. So, this could have gone better here. Probably going to lose our land speeder next time. Not sure if he's going to run this guy over to start fighting with him. Or if he's going to break to the left here and start engaging my dreadnoughts. And I would like to get these guys over farther, but I don't think I'm going to be able to right now. Now, I'm pretty sure these guys have an ion shield too, right? Oh, yeah, this guy has the, uh, the missile pod. That's what they, he ended up doing to attack the guy. That's right. Yep, yep. Okay. That's what happened. I forgot he had the uh, Apocalypse missile launchers on there. That's what ended up taking these guys out. All right. That helps. See here, I'm looking for Castilian, and he's not on this map. All right. It's coming together. Gosh. Okay. Let's see what he's planning on doing here, because I am not sure how he's going to be moving his units around. Right. Oh, he's shooting at point blank range. I didn't think he could do that. But he certainly did some damage. Titan's moving around. They're coming down. Yep, gonna take out the land speeder. Ouch. Ouch. Alright. Who's up here? Plasma gun. Let's move over to this side. Come on, take him out. I am thoroughly disappointed. run up here Okay. These guys are broken, so they don't have a reaction fire. Move you up. Start moving you over. Have you start shooting here, I guess. <gasps> How dare you?
guess the next question is, where do I want to put you? Put you up here. Because we know they have got those dang plasma guns. I guess I just move you down here and do something like this. I'll move you over. Start clearing out that stuff. You can hide in here. Gotta keep you guys moving forward so we can get a flank. I'm surprised that he got so many shots right next to him. So my venerable dreadnought's probably dead next turn. He may just come around here and take out my tank. That would be another option for him. I just don't know which one he's going to do. I guess I'd rather him come around here and waste an attack taking out my predator because I don't think he's going to be able to take out my Venerable Dreadnought with one with the barrages, but it may be possible. I'm not sure. If he does come down here to try to take out the tank, then you should at least be able to take out the plasma guns, I'm hoping. Well, he may just, curve, just fall apart. You guys are getting ready to move in. Gotta clear out as much of this as we can to open it all up. I guess we'll put you guys here. Because if he decides to want to waste an attack attacking you guys, I'd be okay with that really at this point in time I just need you to run in here and do as much damage as possible and if I can get at least one of these venerables in that should be good to turn him a position the issue though I'm having right now is there's so much stuff in the way here that I can't get firing and, you know, these guys are at least one to two turns away from being able to reinforce. This was out of range, I think, when I was trying to get there. Okay, let's take a look here and see what we can do. And more importantly, what he does with his Titan. If he wants to come after the tank, I guess that's the right thing to do. I just assume he's going to want to kill the pack later. Oh, we got another. It's up here. Alright, so we got more infantry up here. Good to know about. Got quite a bit of infantry still left up there. Alright, here comes the 
Titans. What are you gonna do? Not surprising. Oh shit, he is gonna kill. Man, I did not think that was gonna happen. Who you taking out next? Let's go. We gotta be careful with them. I guess I'm gonna have to run you in to take up that hit. My claws can get over there. Damn, out of range. Come out. That's just going to be too much. Oh, you can actually hit him. Good. Down. All right. Question is, can you get up here and attack them? You can, but ineffectively. How about you? No. Things up. I'm opening stuff up. Turn you around here. You can kill these guys. Fire incoming. We gotta be careful because he's gonna be coming down after us very shortly. He's going to not come anywhere near you guys, so we'll have you turn up here. Might as well just have you try to attack. And I wonder if I pull... If I pull you back... And I can attack with the Whirlwind, but... I don't think it's really worth it. Because then he's going to run all around. Alright, 
So we know we got at least three guys here. Hotshot, Polygon, Hotshot, Polygon, Plasma Gun. And the Tempest is Prime. Pull you down. If nothing else, hopefully you can soak up some attacks. You guys will lock him down here. You're coming down. Fight. You'll be here. You'll be there. You're coming here. You can continue to move forward. You're continuing to move around to capture victory points. Now five to two. I really did not expect the Venerable Dreadnought to go down. And we have to be careful. So if he ends up doing the uh, AP damage thing, that could be pretty devastating for us. Let's do something like that instead. You should be safe. Really? I need this whirlwind to survive and do well. Because I really need him to take out this infantry for me. I suspect at least one of his attacks will therefore go to take out the whirlwind. So that should be a high priority for him. But we'll see what he does. Okay. <clears throat> see what he ends up doing here. And hopefully he won't take out my whirlwind. Because that could be pretty catastrophic for me. So he's pulling him back. Plasma gun. Ugh. Alright, so he's screwed. He's trying to clear way so he can attack the Sky Claw. Maybe not. <clears throat> All right, so where's the best spot for him to turn him this way or turn him this way? Put you over here. Get you over here. <clears throat> Alright, so let's put you this way. Turn him around. We'll start unloading on these guys. Now we have those guys coming down. Guess we'll just attack here. It's 
start turning <clears throat> you guys up. Okay. So I wanted to be able to see them because I want to be able to attack with my whirlwind. Fantastic. So that move right there just pretty much solidified my victory. Now, the only question is, we know he's got at least his hero left. I don't know if he has anybody hiding behind here, but attack there okay let's see if he has a final turn or whether he just conceded right away bringing that this match up to a close yeah he just conceded so had his plasma guns here and then his hero is hiding in the smoke I'm guessing so, pretty obvious victory from us taking out his Titan there. I am still impressed that we were able to pull this together. I really thought we were going to end up losing as soon as I lost that uh, Land Raider right away. But uh, I guess it just goes to show that you, you know, if you're playing these online and you get a really bad turn, you can still pull it back. There's been several videos that I've been able to upload that have shown that to be the case. So, just remember that so you don't always just rage quit and when you have a bad turn. So... Another game down, I will continue to upload videos every Monday for uh, these online matchups. Uh, if you're enjoying my videos, please give my channel a like and subscribe to encourage me to post more for you. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.